Hey, my name is Ryan. I'm one of the bird keepers here at the Toledo Zoo, and I'm just here with our rhinoceros hornbills to celebrate Love Hornbills Day. We have a male and a female. The male is Andaru. He's about 19 years old, and the female is Kirana, and she's about 17 years old. In the wild, they typically forage and eat fruit. That's one of their main jobs is seed dispersal, so they'll eat and distribute a lot of those seeds. So here at the zoo, we give them a lot of different types of fruit, as well as some of our normal diet mixes that contain different nutrients that they need. So these birds are mostly from Asia and the surrounding islands. They live in more of a rainforest type atmosphere. So we turn the missing system on to help them to take baths to maintain their feather condition. Normally in the wild, they take a lot of baths when it rains because they live in more of a rainforest type atmosphere. So that is to help simulate that here at the zoo. These birds have a really interesting nesting cycle. So in our habitat, we have a tree that we fabricated and it's to mimic their natural habitat in the wild and what they normally do for nesting. So normally in the wild, they find a tree cavity and the female goes in, lays the eggs, and then she will seal herself in. So she uses material like old fruit and different things like that to seal the opening so there's only a tiny slit. The male will bring food to and from the nest cavity for her. And then once the eggs hatch and the chicks are able to live on their own, she then breaks out of the nest cavity and then her and the male both seal it back up and then they both go out and get food to bring it back to the chicks until they are old enough to fly out on their own. So these guys are listed as vulnerable to extinction and basically the reason for that is because in the wild a lot of their native trees are being cut down and used for timber and they rely on those really old trees and those cavities in those trees to be able to reproduce and to raise offspring for the next generation. If you guys think these birds are as cool as I do then you can come visit them at the Toledo Zoo here in the aviary.